Peter, let's talk for a second about protein. Uh, how much protein does a well-trained swimmer need, and what happens if I take in too much protein? Well, this is actually an area uh, in both sports nutrition and even medicine where there's considerable amount of debate. Some will argue that a typical person needs no more than one gram of protein per kilogram of ideal body weight or lean body weight. I would call that the low end of the spectrum. Some would argue that you should take in up to two grams of protein per day per kilogram of ideal body weight. I would call that the upper end of the spectrum. I think, again, this comes back to the idea of figuring out what's right for you. I used to be one of these people that felt that I needed to consume an unbelievable amount of protein because of my training volume both in and out of the water, especially out of the water, actually. I used to consume two and a half gr uh, grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day. That was quite a bit of protein. In fact, at some point, I was probably closer to three grams per kilogram per day. One of the things I noticed in me when I was consuming such high amounts of protein was that it actually inhibited my ability to become more metabolically efficient. This is probably because, as I mentioned earlier, protein does stimulate insulin, and so I was still finding myself in a slightly elevated level of insulin, and it actually inhibited my ability to make a transition to keto adaptation. So today, I consume probably on the order of 1.5 grams of protein per kilogram of ideal body weight. So for me, that works out to be about 110 to 120 grams of protein per day. I think when you are in that range, you are probably not being limited to recover uh, by your ability to ingest protein. What happens if I take in too much protein? Well, it depends. If you have abnormal kidneys, which again, most people who are doing the types, the types of swims we talk about don't find themselves in that situation, but I do know a number of people who do have compromised kidney function um, who do still you know, compete and train. In that situation, it can actually be harmful because we don't store protein. We, uh, whatever protein our muscles aren't calling on for in the form of amino acids to bring into our muscles, we actually excrete through our kidneys. So if your kidneys aren't working perfectly, you are putting more of a strain on them than is necessary. When you talk about the subset of people who do have uh, normal kidneys, like most of us, too much protein tends to uh, lead to a feeling of being sort of um, what we would call, you know, feeling of malaise. You just don't tend to feel quite right. There are a number of explanations for why this takes place. Um, some of them have been tested, some of them have not. But as a general rule, if you're consuming more than two and a half to three grams of protein per kilogram per day, you're probably over the efficiency point of that curve and you're now into an area where you're probably actually going to harm your performance uh, and certainly not feel well as a result of it. Well, how about how much protein can you handle in one sitting or one intake? Uh, you know, you certainly don't want to take a day's worth of protein in, in one fell swoop. Is that correct? That's correct. I, I think, again, this is yet another one of these individual differences. There are certainly people who can sit there at a table and consume a 60-ounce ribeye steak, which would technically give you your entire daily requirement of protein. Um, but for most of us, it's, it's actually much more efficient on our digestive systems to break that out over the course of the day. Remember, protein is actually one of the most metabolically demanding things to actually digest. So um, without getting into the details of it, when we talk about how many calories are in protein, there's a difference between the amount of calories that are on your fork versus what reaches your body because of some of the energy your body requires to break that down. So you are putting a bit of a demand on your body. So is there a general rule of thumb? Do you want to take less than 30? Do you want to take... Is, is there anything that you can make a recommendation or... I'll be honest with you, I am not familiar with any recommendation that's based on real science. I've seen a lot of anecdotal rules of thumb, and I probably tend to observe some myself. As a general rule, I don't like to eat more than about 50 grams of protein in one sitting. But again, this falls into the category that's becoming a recurring theme. Everybody's got to learn their own body. And I've learned that I tolerate protein pretty well. Even at two and a half grams uh, per kilogram per day, I was actually not feeling that bad um, until I started to keto adapt. Then I found it was actually Im impeding that. And I feel now much better at one to one and a half grams per day. Thanks a lot.